All right, so you got Pro Real Time and you got the algos. Now it's time to get started. In this video, I will show you how to import the algo, I will show you how to backtest an algo, and I will show you how to start the algo. It doesn't matter if you're a beginner or experienced, I'll get you started in less than five minutes. So let's go. Hey, what's up? I'm Carl Eriksson with Pro Real Algos, bringing you the best automated trading and algorithms for Pro Real Time. If you're interested in automated trading for Pro Real Time, make sure to check out our website and hit the subscribe button below. We will publish a lot of videos on this channel over the coming months. By the way, if, if you still have questions after this video, uh, there's a big customer chat group that can help you get started as well. So please check in that, it's in the description down below. But first of all, before you do anything else, please make sure that you have the Pro Real Time Trading software installed on your computer. And if you don't have that, we have put together a list of the best brokers offering this software. A list of that also in the description down below. Okay, so importing the algorithm. So first of all, open up the Pro Real Time Trading software. Open up a chart, whichever chart you want. Maybe you already have one open. I will choose the first one here, which is the Nasdaq chart. And to import the algorithm to your Pro Real Time Trading software, simply click this button here. And then you just click the import button here. So every algorithm consists of two files, the indicator file and the system file. And both these files are needed for the algorithm to work. So I'll simply just import one, them one by one. And since I already had the files imported, it asks me to replace them. So that's how you do that. And that's the first step. Your algo is now imported. And by the way, you don't have to mind the indicator file. Once you have imported it, you can't forget it. Get it out of your head. It's the system file that's in the interesting one. It's the, with the system file that you set the position size and that you start your algo shown in the later steps. Next up, running a backtest. So what is a backtest? Well, a backtest is, as the word says, a test backwards. And in other words, it's a test of the historic performance of an algo. And it's always a good idea to check the historic performance of an algo before starting it. But you have to be careful because backtests can easily be manipulated to look fantastic. So when looking at the backtest, you have to take into account the release date of that algo to know how it's actually been performing. So building an algorithm for historic data is easy. It's basically just backtrading. And in automatic algo trading, that's called curve fitting. And we'll publish a whole video about that uh, topic uh, later. And remember, past performance is no guarantee for future results. Okay, so let's make a backtest. This time, open up a chart of the index that's intended for the algo and make sure that you use the right time frame. So you can tell by the name of the algo which index and time frame it's intended for. And in the, in the previous step, we imported the PRTA DAX M3 algo. So M3 means that it runs on the three minute time frame and DAX means that it runs on the DAX index. So let's continue with that one. So open up a DAX chart, search for DAX or Germany 30. And I'll choose this one here. Now let's choose the correct time frame. So it's, uh, you do that by clicking here and it's already on three minutes. If you want to double check which algo should be run on which index and time frame, there's a list of that in the description below too. All right, so let's do a backtest. First of all, you have to decide for how long historic period you want to do the backtest. You do that by changing the number of units here. So now I now will choose 200K units. So 200,000 units means that the backtest will run on a historic period equivalent of 200,000 three minutes bars. And that is approximately, uh, if I remember correctly, around 18 months or something like that. To do the backtest, click this button down here again and 
find the algo that you imported in the previous steps and then you click modify here so here is the code of the algorithm uh, we don't recommend changing any values except the position size here so this value determines the position size used in the backtest as well as the position size used when starting the algorithm and we'll keep position size 1 here and that means that the position size will be one contract of the contract size of the index which was 1 GBP so on the right side here are some values to set the different transaction fees uh, the most important is the spread value here it's basically just a fixed fee for every transaction and the spread differs between brokers, indexes and time of day so in a way a backtest is pretty blunt since you can only set one fixed backtest spread for the whole backtest but we'll keep spread one here it reflects the average spread pretty good on this index so now click the pro backtest my system uh, button and now you wait the backtest might take one minute or one hour depending on the algo and the number of units chosen so grab a coffee and just wait for it for finish all right the backtest is done and once the backtest has completed uh, this window will appear that is performance result of the backtest and i'm not going to go into the details of this we'll make a separate video on that deep diving into the backtest detailed report but basically here is the equity curve of the algorithm here are the win rate here are the profit factor here's the number of trades and here's how much you have lost and how much you have won and this is the total gain of the backtest and so it's a lot more stuff you can zoom into the chart here too uh, to see every trade All right that's a backtest but I know why you're here you're here to earn the money and that's the next step starting your algorithm the one thing to keep in mind here is to make sure that your algo is started on the right time frame on the right index okay so we've already gone through most of it first of all you have to decide the position size on which you want to run the algo so let's say I want to start a DAX M3 algo then I need to open up a DAX chart I already have one open since the backtest and it's already set with the correct time frame which is three minutes but if I would like to start an algo on a different market I would ha have to open up a new chart on that index and then set the time frame for that algo before proceeding so uh, once again click this button here find the system that you have imported and back tested any system that you want to start and then you click the modify button so I will set two win position size here I want the algo to run with two contracts so I'll set two here and then I will click the automatic trading tab over here and then I click prepare for automatic trading so what that will do is open up the pro order auto trading window here you can see all your started instances of all algorithms as well as stopped instances of your algorithm and the one that I just prepared for automatic trading is down here so please check that the instrument down here and the time frame is the correct time frame that's intended for this algo and it says three minutes and on the Germany 30 so that's correct so check this box here and then you click start and that will open up this window uh, first of all please make sure that your time zone is the right time zone that's intended for this algo for during the summer time it's UTC plus 02 and in the winter time it's UTC plus 1 if you need help changing your time zone we have made a separate tutorial video on that and you can find a link to that video in the description down below and what you want to do first is to set the same position size that you set in the code set it here in the max positions max number of contracts I set two in the code so I will set two here 
Uh, guaranteed stops is optional but not recommended. Uh, it will allow you to minimize risk as the stop losses will execute even outside open hours of the index. So it could be, for example, over the weekend. Uh, but this is not recommended as the fee for every transaction will rise. And if you want to minimize risk, you can do that in other ways. For example, you could close positions manually going into the weekend and such. And we will make a whole video about minimizing and manage, man, managing risk uh, in a, a couple of weeks. The readjustable stops checkbox should be checked for all our algos. So check this one and then you click activate trading system. So the algorithm is now running. Let's find it in the list. I think it uh, should be down here. Yeah, there it is. And if you want to start another algo, you will have to redo this step. Uh, if it's an algo for a different market, you'll have to open up a new chart for that index and set the right time frame before preparing the algo for automatic trading. And one last thing you should think about is the date down here. This is a safety function within per real time. And what it means uh, is that it will stop all active instances at this state. So you'll manually have to extend this date from time to time by clicking the extend button here and there's unfortunately no way around that um, you can set the maximum number of extension days to 100 so you will have to go in and click uh, on this button every 100 every 100 days all right so that's it now you know how to import an algo you know how to back test an algo and you know how to start an algo if you still have questions, visit the customer chat. There's a lot of helpful people there that will help you with any problems that you might have. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more of our coming videos, hit the subscribe button below. So thank you for watching and talk to you again soon. Bye.